Okay, guys. Today, we're going to raid a bunker base right here. It's a huge bunker base. That looks like there could be a challenge to raid. It doesn't look that easy to raid, even though it's like, it's not a huge, huge space, you know, but it's fully armored. It is a bunker base, so it has no doors. So I feel like it's actually going to cost a lot to raid the space. And that's why I took all my C4 in my base right now. I have and nearly all my rockets, not all of them, but nearly. And hopefully that's going to be enough to raid the space. I think I'm going to drill inside right here, then into the middle part. Okay, you can see it's health floors right here and it has some extra honeycomb right here and a roof or whatever. It's like a very well thought out base design. And when people do stuff like that, you have to be careful because they clearly know what they're doing then. So you have to rate it the most safe way you know. And that's going to be going in right here and then hopefully be successful. We have a turret protecting us. And again, that's why we're going to drill in right here because when people come and like want to counter raid me and go inside the same place, it's going to get shot by the turret. So they have to break the turret to get to me. So it's going to be perfect. Plus, we have to do this raid a little bit fast because I have something I need to do later. So let's split up to C4 and let's drill into the base. Okay, here we go. Okay, square. That's good. It's hollow. Oh, I did not think it'll be hollow. Hmm, maybe it's gonna be easy. I thought it'd be like a lot of honeycomb, you know. And luckily, I went inside the square place because triangles would be way harder. But that doesn't matter when they haven't finished the honeycomb anyway. Yeah, I'm talking too much. Let's keep going. Okay, see, now it's gonna be hard. First of all, what's that? Oh, it's hollow. Okay, so both layers are hollow. Okay, that's good to know. But it looks like we're getting into something now. Kind of looks like a roof thing again. So it's probably not that good of a sign. But hey, it's something at least. Um, What about the floor stability? Still just foundation. Okay, good. I guess we're just going to go this way. But I'm going to use rockets because that would be the safest way to do this. Or the best way to do it. So right here. Okay. There we go. Are we lucky? Doesn't seem like it. Nah. Just honeycomb. And see, there's the roof. So that's actually upstairs. So that's not really going to help us. Um, I guess we have to go one more into the middle. Again, they could have the loot room anywhere. I just hope it's in the middle. That would be easiest for me. And I guess that is the most protected place on the base or inside the base. Wait, actually, let's check the floor. Okay, then. So there's nothing inside the floor. All of them are foundations. So I guess we're just going to go in with C4 right here to make it a little bit faster. Here we go. Are we lucky? No, come on. It's one of those spaces. I'm pretty sure we're in the middle right now, but there's no loot room. Again, it could be upstairs right here, maybe. But it wouldn't make sense. Down here is the most protected place, clearly. Again, it's a floor fight. Wait, okay. That's a good sign. Okay, okay, okay. It's 54% stable and right here is foundation. That could mean two things. Either it's just a little health floor to hold the base up because they couldn't build a foundation right here. So there's nothing down here. It's just a honeycomb or there's going to be something down here, like a loot room or something. If you're lucky, I do admit, I kind of don't feel like we're going to be that lucky just because it kind of looks like the whole base would be honeycomb. So I guess the middle part, you just needed to put like one step up so they could still build in the middle. I don't know how to explain it, but hey, we're just going to use rockets so we don't waste any explosive. Hit it right here so we destroy all this and the floor, and let's hope for the best. How close are we? Okay, we're close. That's good. By the way, I just want to say my energy today is very low. I had a lot of stuff I needed to do today, so if I'm sounding a little bit tired or something, then it's because... Yeah, I am tired. And today is just a down day, you know, like it's not the best day for me. But hey, just how it is. I can't just stop making videos because of that. But just so you guys know, but please be some loot behind these walls. That would make me way more happy. Oh, come on. Nothing. What about this one? Nothing. Oh, nothing down here. Great. And nothing. Okay, this is fantastic. My mood just went so much better now. 
This is just wonderful. <laughs> oh my god, is foundation now? Yeah, it is. More of these are lower, though. And these are even lower. Okay, my plan gonna be this. Because we're clearly in the middle right now. 100%. My plan gonna be, I'm gonna try go one up. If there's no loot room up there, I'm gonna try go one down right here. Because this is straight in the middle. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be the plan. Come on. No loot dropping. Please don't be a trap. We are not going to be that lucky, it seems like. Wait, what if a break... What would happen? Oh. I was kind of holding these. We're holding the whole building up or something. <laughs> and just collapse, you know. But I guess not. That would be weird too. Then you have that trick then. But yeah, there's some holes right there. But those are from outside. He blocked off a little bit, so he can't really squeeze through it. Um, this looks really cool, though. I do admit. I really like how these people have made the base. It looks very well done, you know. They really thought about the details and the best way to make it. Especially when you think about it, I can't even find the loot room inside the base. So they have done a very good job. Um, yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna try plan B, and that's going down right here. Yeah, I guess so. Here we go. Wait, there is something. There's a box. Oh my god, there's a whole room right here. A sleeper? Okay. Oh, TC. We're just gonna take that from here. Put that here, block it off. Yeah, there we go. Block this off. Okay, oh my god, that's a good sign. I am so happy this was my plan B right here. Oh my god, think about it. I went down here and right next to that, there was a loot room. If I stopped right here, think how unlucky I would have been. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, what about the boxes? Oh, M2. Nice, I like that. That's a good start. A lot of good weapons too. Let's pick up this box. Looking good. Okay, big loot room right here. I like how they made it. Oh yeah, this is looking really good. The clan is called New Cow. New Cow. Okay, Mr. Perch. Sherry's uh, baby or something. <laughs> oh, 36 tech trash. That's really good. Good laptops for tech trash and CT cameras and other good stuff. Okay, a lot of ammunition for the same turret. That's for sure. And a grenade launcher with no ammunition. Rocket launcher with ammunition. And it was the good kind of thing. No, it was a flame rocket. That's still okay. Wait. 3,000 uncooked high call metal. Okay. <laughs> I did not see that. That reminds me of a video I did for two days ago where I missed 10,000 high call metal in that video. A lot of people got very mad about that. But I'm sorry. My eyes are not the best sometimes. Explosive ammo. A lot of good resources. More high call metal. Nice. 3k sulfur. That's okay. A lot of stone. I would say a health million. Uh, a lot of scrap. We haven't made any profit yet because we did actually use around uh, 39 C4s and 30 rockets around that, I think. So we need some really good profit. Okay, a lot of explosive ammo. A lot of grenade launch ammo. That's really good. 112. That's not a little bit. Uh, explosive ammo for days. That's good. Just gonna take the most of it. There we go. Satchels. I don't like those. So I'm gonna take those last. Uh, what about this? Oh, there we go. There we go. I was not expecting that. That is way more than I expected. 71 C4s. That's like two times of what I used on this base. That is so good. And how many rockets? 20, 40, 60, 80, 214. Damn, that's a mad profit. I did not think we'll get profit. When I saw these other boxes were like, okay, but you're not loaded. I was like, we're not going to get any good profit. But I was wrong. That just made my day, actually. No joke. That actually just made my day. Okay, here we go. Look at all these C4 and rockets. It's looking beautiful. It really is. To be honest, it is a really good base design. Most people don't have 40 C4s and like about 30 rockets to raid bases like this. But of course, it is modded, so it is easier to get stuff. But most people still don't have 40 C4s for this base design. Like, that's crazy. You actually made such a good base design. And yeah, if you two are watching this video, well done. You have my deepest respect because this base doesn't look big, but it's goddamn strong. Yeah, big respect.
But yeah, that's gonna be all for today's video. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have more time. I have something I need to do later, so I have to end the video now. But if you enjoyed it, then please smash that like, smash that subscribe too if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I just see you guys in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, guys. Have a wonderful day and stay safe. Bye bye.